I am just on my first ride on my friend's trip. Staying with relatives just on the edge of eastern edge of Paris. And I'm doing a ride today, which is about a 50 mile loop, which goes through lots of villages. It's amazing how rural it is so close to the center of Paris. Uh, plane there on the left, just coming into land, which shows you how close we are to uh, the main Charles de Gaulle International Airport. Quite often when there is a, a bit of built up area, you get these lovely cycle paths. Oh, there's something over here I wanted to show you. One of the things I always think of when I remember these rides that I do around the villages east of Paris, and that is that uh, most of the villages seem to have this fantastic uh, flower display at the side of the village. It really is, it really is lovely. It's a nice touch. You see it sometimes in Britain. Uh, I saw it down in my rides in Wiltshire on, in a couple of villages, but here it just seems to be most villages do it. Lovely. Right under the flight path now. Not so dramatic this one, but equally pretty. Ew. Oh. And not to let me down, Jewilly. If that's how you pronounce it. They've all had it so far. Here's the first one who doesn't contribute to the floral display. Well, they certainly made up for it actually in the town because there's flowers everywhere on the lampposts, around most of the trees. So fair play, they didn't have it at the entrance, but they still did well. If climbing hills isn't your thing, then this is a good area because this 50 mile loop has only two significant climbs as far as the Garmin is concerned. And I'm actually halfway up one of them now. In the scheme of things, I certainly wouldn't call it significant. So uh, it is a fairly flat route really, a flat area. I just followed the route that I know I've done before. Seems to have this no entry sign. But I think, yeah, that's something to do with just uh, farm vehicles only. And I fancy I've cycled up those before and nobody's been bothered. The only issue is it's quite gravelly. I guess that's the freedom of riding a bike. You can get to go where cars aren't allowed to go. Uh, cobbles. Doesn't make for comfortable riding and probably not for smooth filming either. I forgot about a couple of the cobbled sections on this route. Quite traditional really, it's a shame that they've, uh, they've tarmacked over most of it really. And here we have one of my favourite village names in the area.
to the wheel. They made an attempt at a floral display, but they're not going to win any prizes. Very nice spot. Village pond. Nice if there was a village boulangerie for me to get a baguette or something. Sit by it. I fear I won't be that lucky. And here we have one of the grand sights in the French countryside. That is the field of sunflowers. I often feel as well, coming through these little French villages, that uh, it seems like nobody lives here half the time. You, know, you don't see people walking around. It's, uh, yeah, it's a really strange thing. Crikey. I wonder what that uh, facade would look like with the plants taken off it. Many years of growth, I think. The one thing I do remember about this village, if it's the one I'm thinking of, and that is that, uh, in fact, here we are. The road leading out the village is a cobbled one. <laughs> It'll be fun. I remember one ride I did here, a different time of the year. Crikey, it's already bumpy as hell. A different time of the year, I had to turn back because it was completely flooded down here. Crikey. I don't know how these guys do the cobbled races in Belgium or Paris-Roubaix. because this is definitely weird and uncomfortable and goes on for quite a while yet. Oh, right. There's no bakeries in these little tiny villages, but I've come prepared. I've got some snacks in my back pocket. That looks like what I need to rely on. Another ghost town. This is the second of two significant climbs. Looks a bit more significant than the first one. Well, that was a decent climb. Went on for a fair bit. Five to six percent most of it, but a uh, section of it was eight to ten. But yeah, it was a test. 
stickle in this heat. And look, some people. Unfortunately, it was just a bar. I didn't fancy a beer. We might have had coffee, but I didn't fancy that in this weather. But they were very kind and filled my bottle with ice cold water. I was on the verge of trying to hunt out a cemetery, which is always the uh, get out clause for water in these parts. flag flying there and that could well be a yeah you know, a war cemetery a war grave I will uh, stop and have a look I do think it's wonderful that uh, this is all kept and remembered I think the nearest uh, trench warfare was uh, very close to here the nearest trench warfare to Paris that is And this is a very, very welcome shady avenue of trees. And the things about this particular route is it's very wide open in most places. And uh, when the sun's shining at 30 degrees, it's, uh, it's quite intense. But this is lovely. Good effort, Charney. Good effort indeed. Something else to watch out for when uh, cycling and driving in France. Like here, I'm on the main road, but I've had to stop. Uh, particularly in the villages and towns, quite often the, ro the traffic on the on the main road will have to stop and give way to the traffic in the side roads and uh, but sometimes that's not the case so you need to watch out for the the solid white line which sometimes will appear in front of you even though you're on the main route some find it a little odd but actually it saves some of these poor souls who are trying to get out of a side road onto a busy main road waiting for ages and ages Oh wow, yeah, that's impressive. The strange thing about that is that it's a very nice, very, very impressive, but it, the village sign isn't on it, which is quite odd. Turns out the village sign is behind the flowers at the bottom. <laughs> also along with the one earlier has to be one of the best village names in the area The remainder of the route is nearly all alongside a nice canal all the way back to Villepaisis where we are staying.
This particular path, although cool and pretty amongst the trees, is also blighted by tree roots raising through the tarmac, so be careful of that if you do it. This canal is a popular cycling commuter route into central Paris. 12 miles from where we're staying, but it stretches further afield, and I'll probably do that ride later with the month actually, and show you just how easy it is getting around Paris by bike. So that was village hopping east of Paris and I found myself without realising at first judging a floral display competition as I went round. There were a few good ones as you can see including a reasonable effort by Shani but villages have more than one approach and as I left Shani I came across this display which I nearly marked down because of a schoolboy error in hiding the actual name of the village with some of the flowers. But I relented and first prize is awarded to the village of Shani. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tool around the villages of Eastern Paris. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up as usual. And as you know, I'd be really grateful if you subscribe to the channel and look out for one or two more rides around parts of France in the coming weeks. So that's all for me. Happy cycling, and I will see you soon. Au revoir.